So in this video, I'm going to get you to draw the step block so that we can see exactly how the step block will look in the four different views. I'm going to work in the isometric view, and I'm going to start the step block at the bottom left corner of the front view, which I'm going to locate at the 0, 0, 0. So follow along with me. I'm going to start my simple place line tool. I need to activate AccuDraw, so I press F11 and make sure that works. And I'm going to enter 0, 0, 0, so I enter 0 first, tab, and 0, and tab, and 0. That places me at the global origin, and tab again. And my line will automatically start from 0, 0, as we can see. Now notice how the line looks in all four views. In fact, if you move your cursor around, you'll see it moving in all four views. It will be a little bit confusing at the moment for several reasons, which we'll get to as we proceed. Now, the next very important thing is that we need to orientate the compass, which at the moment, as you can see in the isometric view, is looking vertical. Now, the important point to note here is that the compass is vital to your drawing technique since you're always drawing in the plane of the compass. And this is now a 3D plane, so you need to be able to move the plane around in order to draw within it. Now, in our case, we need to change this. And I'm going to explain a lot more about AccuDraw in 3D in the next video, but for the moment, just follow my prompts. I need to change the orientation, so I'm going to press F at the keyboard, which is the front view. So the compass rotates into a front view orientation. And now I can start to draw the front face of the step block. So I'm going to lock to the positive x axis. I'm going to enter a dimension. I'm going to make it 10 inches long. If you work in the metric, make that to 50 millimeters. So the dimension that I'm dragging right now is displaying the x axis box at the bottom of the screen. I need 10 inches, so that will be colon 10, which places my line. I just zoom in so I can see what I'm doing. There's my 10 inch line. I'll data point to accept that. Now I'm going to go upwards for the short end of the step block. I'm going to make that 5 inches long. So again, colon 5. There's the short end of the T block. Left click to accept. I'm going to drag backwards. I'm going to make that 5 inches as well. So I can use the previous distance marker, which is there. Left click, drag upwards. Need to go up five again for the vertical end. Zip across here and another five, which gets me to there. There's my marker. Now I can come back to my starting point and left click. Now I don't need to right click at this point, but you could if you wanted to. I'm going to anyway because I want to explain. What we've done is draw the front face of the step block and we've rotated the compass to the front orientation with the F key which is an AccuDraw shortcut, so that we have the compass in the front plane, all of which is very, very important. Now I'm going to draw the right side of this. So I need to go in this direction for the depth of the step block. But I really can't at this moment because the compass is orientated in the front orientation. I need to change that. So I need another key at the keyboard. The correct key is S for side at the keyboard. Press that. And my compass rotates to essentially a right orientation. I can now enter the dimension for the width of the step block, and I'm going to use 5 again. So colon 5, there it is there, left click. Now at this point I could work my way around, but that would be a little redundant. So what I'm going to do is stop the tool at this point. I'm going to select my element selection arrow. I'm going to copy the line I just drew. Starting from there, I know for a fact that my step block will look like this. So now I've copied all of the horizontal corners. So I'm going to copy the front face backwards. So I need that one, and that one, and that one, that one, that one, and that one. Do a copy. Copy it from there to there. Now at this point, it doesn't matter what orientation the compass is in because snapping from point to point is an orientation in itself. So I can simply snap to that back end of the line. Left click and right click, and I have my step block views. 
So we're seeing quite a convoluted set of lines in the center here where they overlap each other. This is one of the problems of a wireframe design, which is what this is. Let's move on to the other three views. Here is the top view. As we'd expect, we're looking down on top of it. We'll see the top face and the second face. We see the ACS icon neatly into place where it should be. This is the front view looking as the front view should from this direction. And here's the right side view looking from this direction. So that's what happens when you draw in isometric, and that's what the other three views will show depending on their default orientation. Now, as I said, you can change the orientation of any of these views if you wish, and we'll be doing that later. So I would ask you to redraw that step block so you fully understand how we were able to change the plane of AccuDraw so that we could draw on the planes, and how we copied and moved elements in standard fashion, but now in 3D. And one last thing you can try. Right now we have the ACS icon neatly at 0, 0, and our elements starting at that point. But what happens if I zoom this drawing? Watch the ACS carefully. Note that as I zoom the elements off the screen, the ACS icon does not leave the screen. So really, it's abandoned its location, if you wish, at 0, 0. Technically, it's still there, but it's not displaying there. So this can be a little bit confusing at first. Now, as soon as I bring the elements back onto screen, the ACS pops into place properly. So be a little cautious with that. This is really the orientation of the design cube. It just happens to be attached to 0, 0, when that is in the view itself. Just be careful with that. And this happens in all four views. You can try that in the other three views yourself too.